Hello, today we are looking at some 13Q problems. So let's see what we get. In this one we have black group here about to die. So we need to find one way to save this black group. And here we have this situation where we, since we only have two liberties, we only have a6 and b4, we know that every move has to be Atari. And there will be no use playing a move like d3 because white will simply play either a6 or b4 and, and kill us on the next move. So to stay ahead we need to make every move Atari on, on some chain that is surrounding the group. Um, so to start with the only candidate moves are d4 and e5. Those are the only two Ataris uh, available in the possession. If we play e5 White connects on d4 and then there will be no more Ataris and um, it's over for us. So we actually need to start with d4, a throw in. Um, white cannot connect on e5 because then we'll capture on d3. So white has to capture that stone, accept the sacrifice. Then we can Atari and this time when white connects, because we made white play a move on d3, uh, we have reduced the liberties and we can then follow up with an Atari on c3 and then it's a connect and die. So let's play it out. We throw in. Atari, Atari, and even if white had connected here, we would just capture. So in this case, white instead chose to play a6, allowing us to capture a smaller part of the white group. So to reiterate, only d4 and e5 worth considering. And with this one, white has too many liberties. So we want to make first white place one stone here, uh, which reduces the white liberties. Let's take a look at the next one. We have a white group in the corner. You should find a way to kill this white group. Obviously, white already has one secure eye in the corner. So what we need to do is prevent white from making another eye in this area. And the move here to come inside is actually the clamp on b4. This move is working because it can either connect on c4 or on a5. And it's a bit interesting because um, it would not have worked if white had one extra liberty, say on d1. Uh, we will see why here. White can throw in one stone. And now if white did have one extra liberty, white would be able to play b3 and, and capture two stones. Uh, but because this move is now self atari that doesn't work for white. So actually at this point, black is securely connected thanks to the short shot liberties and there's nothing white can do. If black had tried something else, white will just take this point and now there's no way to prevent the eye and forming on, on b3. Okay, we have some sort of capturing race in the, here in the corner, with some black groups, some white groups. Um, find the right move for black to survive in this corner. We see that we're in some trouble with these four black stones. We cannot cut on c3 because that's self Atari. Uh, it would be kind of natural then to play c1, but actually then white has a trick. If we play c1, white will play b1, and we will not be able to capture on c3 because it will be a snapback. So c1, b1, we have to capture a1, then white can play Atari on c3, we connect, and then we're about to be captured. So actually we need to take the opponent's vital point, uh, b1, uh, to prevent white from getting this point. And now all white can do is connect c3, we will get c1, and since it's one eye versus no eye, we are winning this capture race. So b1, and connect here, and now thanks to the a1 eye, white is not able to approach here. And we would have failed if we instead had played c1, because then white can throw in here, we cannot capture this way, so we have to capture this way, but now we don't have an eye in the corner, so we're captured. So need to be careful here and take the uh, vital point to prevent this snapback throwing the suji thing. Okay, here we have a black group where we should find a way to survive, find a way to make two eyes with this black group. <clears throat> First thing to consider is just maximize the eye space on, on b6 to make as many points as possible. But then white can jump into a4 and then it's a dead shape recognize these five points here, make the so-called bulky five shape, and white will just play in the center to kill us. So actually the correct move is to immediately jump to that vital point, take the point where white would like to go, 
And uh, this obviously makes an eye on a3, but it also less obviously makes an eye on b4. And because there's no way for white to play, for instance, b5 to prevent a die wave move. If after a4 white plays b5, we will just push down and be able to capture the single white stone. So we play here, and okay, white tries a different attack here. Uh, now we could play either a5 or b5, either one is working, let's try a5. And we see white cannot go in here. Again, things would have been a little bit different if white had, um, let's say white had one more move here, that would change the situation. Now it's actually not possible to live, because even with this move, which is kind of the best attempt, um, white could kill with a move like this. Now we cannot cut on, on b6. Um, but with this liberty here, this is safe, and there's yeah nothing white can try. We can just kill the one stone. We'll always get an eye here. Okay, last problem. Uh, surrounded black group, tricky white stone inside, see if you can find a way to secure the two eyes. So let's look at some candidates. Um, e3 looks maybe a promising candidate, maybe something like d2 or maybe d1. Uh, so let's start by looking at e3. I think that looks like the most promising. Um, white will play, let's say white plays e1, trying to set up an Atari on the two stones to falsify this eye. Then we can simply Atari on either d2 or d1 and we will be okay. Um, if instead white plays d2, we need to be a little bit careful. If we simply connect on d3, then c1 comes with Atari on all these black stones, so that's a problem. Uh, so after d2, if we go down, this move also comes with Atari. So actually, e3, d2, we need to play d1, because then white can no longer play d3, um, it would be self Atari. Uh, so that seems possible. Let's also consider, are there other solutions here? What if we play uh, this move instead? Then, uh, let's say, white could play e3. If we simply play e1 in response, we are dead after c1. So let's try instead d2, e3, c1. Uh, then white can go down here on e1. And then we're in some trouble, because eventually we'll be forced to capture the three stones, and then it's going to be a dead eye shape. So I think we need to get to this point here to prevent white from, from coming up here. Uh, so let's play this out here. And the important part is to take d1 to prevent white from playing the d3 Atari. So white goes down here. We could either play here or here. Doesn't really matter. I guess this is one point better. We will not need one move inside in the future, even after white plays uh, g1. So we can keep these points. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's just look at this one, because this was not immediately obvious to me that this was not working. So white here, black here, and I guess white will not play an Atari at this time, that would be a failure. White will just go down, and now we see that white is about to, for instance, cut here to kill us, and if we connect, now we see it's a dead shape. So a little bit more tricky, this one. Uh, need to take this one point, and then also need to be careful uh, at this time it's easy to go wrong and allow a, an Atari like this. I should also say this one is not working because now white can steal Atari underneath. So it's only d1 which both prevents the c1 and the d3 moves from white. Okay, hope you enjoyed these problems. See you in the next video.